So on Vermont, just past 108th. He's going northbound. <clears throat> Century Boulevard. Gonna, it looks like he's setting up for a turn. Left turn. First move through the intersection. Uh, you know, we just joined this uh, pursuit, and it's in one of those spots, like always, LAX, making it very difficult for Sky 9 to... All right, we're going to try and reestablish our signal with Stu Montel. Uh, here's what we can tell you right now. CHP is in pursuit of a stolen SUV. It's that dark-colored SUV you see right there in the middle of the screen. And uh, Stu, can you hear us now? Oh, I can always hear you. It's loud and clear, Sandy. Yeah, I'm just letting you know that, so it, it, this is in the LAX's airspace. I'm my pilot, Brennan, today, working some miracles, using that silver tongue of his, trying to get us into that airspace. You can see some trees right there. Right, this is going to be northbound on Vermont. Oh, we're right across the center divider. Makes the picture a little better, but a lot, very dangerous maneuver. It sounds like he's turning now on westbound on uh, 88th Street. And you can see that vehicle working his way, trying to get away from law enforcement. Now, California Highway Patrol hasn't given this away to any other law enforcement agency. They were in the Sheriff's Department area. They were in the LAP. They are in the LAPD area right now. And But California Highway Patrol, they're the ones behind it, and they're the ones staying behind it. We have another car making a quick move right there. Looks like he ran a stop sign, another vehicle right behind him. Now he's continuing. Uh, let me get a look out the window. I think we're staying westbound out here, uh, northbound, northbound. Uh, We'll get this street here for you in just a second. It's one of the smaller streets through the neighborhoods. It isn't going to be, it. let's read the sign. Uh, we're on Normandy, I believe. Uh, and we're making our way northbound here. You can see the uh, neighborhood, little bumps every now and then, but tighter streets. And this is always gets very, very dangerous for anybody involved out here. This big SUV, when it was moving at high speeds, extremely dangerous. California Highway Patrol right behind him. The original one, still kind of working on that one. But I can tell you, the sheriff's ship, the sheriff's helicopter overhead, on the ground, California Highway Patrol, and this car continues to elude the uh, officers as we're making our way into a neighborhood out here, driving a lot slower all of a sudden, but this is stuff that he was doing earlier on. 35 miles an hour is what they're saying. Actually slowed or almost came to a stop right there. I'm wondering, are those super low profiles or does he have some flat tires? Sandy? Yeah, we haven't seen the uh, CHP throw out a spike strip or anything, but boy, it does look like those tires are a little thin, Stu. Very thin on that car, and I'm going to go with flats, at least on the driver's side. Uh, it definitely looks like he's got at least two flat tires out there. This might be one of the reasons why he's slowing down. Uh, uh, they're, they're, we're, we're hearing that they, if they are flat tires, and we do believe that they are, law enforcement saying might have occurred when he drove across that center divider, hit it too hard, knocked out those tires. Looks like it's an older Ford Expedition making its way northbound out here. Now, California Highway Patrol still behind it. Sheriff's Department still overhead, and they're making their way northbound. You can see that the vehicle moving slower and slower. 73rd Street is where we're at right now. Looks like we're going to choose where, which way we're going here on 70, 79th Street. 79th Street. Looks like we're going to be headed eastbound on 79th. Uh, Stu, it's going to be a little hard for him to maintain control of that vehicle if he's got at least two flat tires. And we, as you mentioned, it, it's a big, heavy vehicle. Big heavy vehicle, Sandy. And earlier on, he actually was playing some weird games. He was at a stoplight. The light turned green. He didn't go. He sat there for a little bit. And then, uh, and then later on, he was driving. We saw him traveling extremely high speeds, driving the speed limit, obeying laws, and then not. So these type of this type of attitude is what's been been going on the entire time. We're just making southbound turn now on New Hampshire, ba basically heading back the direction we came from. Officers are getting the information from the helicopters, the, uh, the uh, police helicopter, uh, sheriff's excuse me, sheriff's helicopter, getting the information, telling the officers where to go. They're basically in the neighborhood right now and just because he made that southbound turn the ones that would have fallen farther behind up oh, now he's making another turn eight 
eastbound on 83rd Street right now, heading back out towards Vermont. You can see Woo! the officers right there, right there, kind of trying to block him in. And a little bit of fishtail. He's got, whoa, ho, 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 ho. Look at that, he's got four flat tires on that truck, and now, Sandy, you can really see how difficult it is to control that vehicle with four flat tires. Wow, he is just swerving all over the place. Really close call as he went through that intersection. Whoop, whoop. This is unbelievable. All the way 360, around. yeah. Now he's facing officers right there. We're going to see what happens here as it looks like the doors open, hands are up, Stu, so this might be all over soon. All right, so you can see the suspect is out of the vehicle. Looks like he is complying with the orders of the CHP officers. They have their guns drawn. He is face down on the street right now, and you can see the skid marks where he lost control and uh, just really swerved out of control, and it looks like the officers are going to move in very close carefully, very slowly, and take the suspect in, in, into custody. Let's show you what happened just moments ago. Again, this is the end of a pursuit, a stolen SUV in the South Los Angeles area. He was in that uh, SUV with four flat tires, trying to main control, maintain control. Just missed that CHP car that had tried to block him off there. He kind of eked through that, went through the intersection, lost control again, and avoided a head-on collision with the car coming the oncoming way. Uh, you're going to see right here the end of this pursuit as he swerves. He does like a 180 right there, misses some parked cars, but the driver now out of the vehicle, and CHP is taking him into custody. It looks like they are cuffing him right now. So, again, this pursuit started just a little while ago, about 2.30 this afternoon in South Los Angeles. He was southbound central at Slauson, got onto the freeway, the 110 southbound for just a little while, and uh, then got off back on surface streets, went over a median, and the officers believe that is when he got the four flat tires on that stolen SUV. It's a rather big vehicle. It was hard to him for him to maintain control. He lost control, did a 180, and you see CHP was right there to take him into custody. We'll have the very latest on this stolen SUV pursuit coming up on our KCAL 9 News at 4 o'clock today. We'll see you then.